and uh, Marcus dedication a little help for an adorable woman. Thank you so much Marcus in Germany Actually, I should have just let you say that there you go. You want to say anything else you get your own personal dedication right now She's in she's in yes. chat. Yes uh, uh, Hello <laughs> Hello, Alexandria happy to have you here great and uh, Yes, uh, I uh, we already in, uh, know each other from the we the people uh, mm -hmm. You know, I was up at, uh, at night uh, and uh, yeah great to have you here and the song donation uh, It was absolutely clear for me because uh, it was so impressive to see your energy and uh, your passion for For what you stand for and uh, there was no question that I would give my donation today for you. Thank you Thank you. I really appreciate that How are you doing Alexandria? How's the campaign going? I'm doing really well. Um, we have a really exciting event coming up this week. Uh, for those of you who aren't signed up on our brand new Congress, Justice Democrats, or my list, Ocasio2018.com, um, we are going to be organizing a town hall takeover. So we've got um, we've got a town hall happening in our district, but it's these town halls usually happen in very affluent and remote areas of the Bronx and Queens that aren't as representative of the district as a whole. So um, we're having some people show up and ask some really great questions on campaign finance reform um, and more. Awesome. Awesome. Sounds good. Sounds like you got an act campaign going. Things are going well. And from what I can uh, what I read, uh, uh, the GOP is very scared about what's going uh, on. They should be. And the establishment. <laughs> Awesome. Awesome. All right. Well, let's get through. Some now. Oh, sure. Yeah, no, we're lucky enough. We're here in the Bronx and we, we're lucky enough here to have some local parks in the area. So we already see some people. It's going to hit a peak here at about 245 Eastern Standard Time. Oh, fantastic. So, yeah. So we've got some people already kind of setting out their blankets and bringing out their kids. So we're really excited. That's awesome. That is awesome. So we were talking earlier about how your campaign was going and you were talking about things you were doing. Uh, where where are you? Where is New York? How do you feel your district is in New York in general on climate? What do you think needs to be done? It's incredibly important to us. We just had Hurricane Sandy hit a couple of years ago and we experienced firsthand the devastation of rising sea levels. Um, New York City and in general is largely coastal. So there are communities in almost every single congressional district that are affected by climate change, rising sea levels, um, even summer times. This is actually one of those, one of the things that we see that we've been seeing more uh, lately is the impact that it's been having on businesses. The, usually summers are um, are seasonable enough and we have a lot of outdoor restaurants actually and and some of my background in history is as a waitress and helping trying to make my family make ends meet as a working person and one of the things that we see with a lot of small businesses here is that the summers are starting to get a little too hot that a lot of establishments aren't you know experiencing the same business and health of their hospitality businesses um in in the summertime and it's just like one of those very small but very tangible ways in which climate change is affecting small businesses and people everywhere and so um, i'm i'm very proud uh, about a week ago i signed the no fossil fuel money pledge and um, to me that's a no-brainer especially coming home from standing rock last year um, i'm proud to never take a to pledge to never take a dime from the fossil fuel industry but this is absolutely an issue that affects new yorkers and that we hope to uh to to really push legislation on particularly in pushing for a renewable energy economy by 2028. wow wonderful wow. just that's awesome you're doing things it's <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's, it's 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 nice to talk to somebody who's like doing things you know right you know, right i know um there can be so much frustration with the current administration especially but i feel like the only antidote to feeling better is actually working towards progress and that's why we we are not taking our eyes off the ball when it comes to renewable energy economy by 2028 medicare for all education for all etc awesome awesome and you're working with brand new congress right you're you're yes. a member of brand, or you're they they vetted you correct 
Yes, so I'm actually very proud to be a brand new Congress candidate and a Justice Democrats candidate. Oh, wow. And both of these organizations are, um, for those who do not know, Justice Democrats is the PAC run out of, uh, run by Jen Uger, founder of the Young Turks. And they are running a slate of Democrats who are competing against establishment and pro corporate Democrat incumbents. I'm also, as you mentioned, um, I'm also endorsed by brand new Congress who vetted me and really helped elevate my run. I, this was definitely not in my plans. This was not in a five or 10 year plan, me running for Congress, but a uh, brand new Congress is dedicated to finding candidates on both sides of the aisle with a background in community work with deep ties to their communities and running real people for Congress in the midterms in 2018. So I'm super proud to be endorsed by both of those organizations and they provide an enormous amount of help to ordinary everyday people who want to get in, engaged in the political process. Yeah, they've, it's uh, we've been working with them. Uh, Laura Livengood has been speaking directly with, um, I think it's Jimmy Sunderland. And, and I've had a couple conversations with her and we're really trying to connect, uh, I'm really trying to connect more of the media organizations with brand new Congress, Justice Democrats to kind of get this engine, this wheel flowing with, with our candidates. So this is really That's exciting. right. There's so, there's already so much infrastructure built for pro-corporate candidates that the people need representation. And that means that we need to start building parallel structures in our media and in our politics, in our organization and advocacy groups so that we have an entire infrastructure that actually advocates for everyday people and aren't influenced by corporate interests. And media is, is such an essential part of that. You guys are the fourth estate. Oh, thank you so much. We're trying to be. We just uh, <laughs> we need to win that lottery. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, this is the, uh, to me, outside of being on the ground, shaking hands, knocking on doors, talking to people. Uh, what we're doing on media is is the next best way to reach everybody. Absolutely, really, absolutely, important. absolutely. Thank you, thank you, uh, Marcus. Yes, I I, we, I know you have some I, questions. I know you. Do. I before I have questions, I have uh, some donations to announce. Oh, wonderful! Oh, wow! Yeah, and we have. Uh, I'm around one of our daily viewers of our awake show. She sent she uh, supports Randy Bryce with fifty uh, with fifty dollars awesome. per month. You know, wow! And, uh, oh my I god! Think, Recurring donations think, is so critical. That's great. Yeah, and uh, then we have uh, Melissa Hernandez, and uh, she donates twenty seven dollars to Paula Swerengen. Wonderful. Awesome. Yeah. And for those who don't know, Paul is a fellow brand new Congress and Justice Democrats candidate as well. Oh, fantastic. That's cool. To, that's very cool to hear. And okay. um, my, my question uh, would be, uh, what, uh, um, uh, is, there any, is there a change visible in uh, New York 14 that you can see that the support is with you, that you, uh, that, that you, uh, that you can push things and uh, defeat uh, Joseph Crowley? Yeah, it's a... Uh, it's been really incredible actually i it's i can't even describe how emotional and touching it is this candidate i mean this district rather um has had the same representation for 20 years and it was appointed so people never formally elected joseph crowley he was appointed via a family friend to congress on a loophole. And ever since then, he's never had a serious primary challenger in 20 years. So the fact that we are running the first challenge primary um, to Joseph Crowley, Crowley in many, many years has really awakened our district here in New York 14 in the Bronx and Queens. And people are really excited and they're actually hopeful at the fact that they have a choice for once. And there are a lot of activists and organizers and people on the ground that are extremely touched. We're here, we are We are doing, we're, you know, we're rolling up our sleeves and we're doing the work. In New York, October 13th is the deadline for the 2018 primaries for independents, unaffiliated and inactive Democrats to register. And so oh, wow. we've been going out there, hitting the streets and knocking on every independent voter store, not on every unaffiliated voter, every inactive Democrat vote, Democratic voters door. And we're saying you matter. And we actually care about your opinion. And we aren't trying to lock you out. We're trying to bring you in. And but 
I, you know, moreover, we're expanding the amount of people in the Democratic uh, Party in the process. And so it's people are so excited and they're so touched and they're really animated and active and ready to go. And, you know, I, I couldn't thank our volunteers uh, and supporters enough. Yeah. Yeah, great, great, great news. And I'm glad to hear it uh, because I'm counting on you. You know, I want you to take over the district. And uh, yeah, yeah. You know? And that sense of responsibility absolutely isn't lost. We have, um, I just tweeted this morning, uh, the New York Times released an article this weekend that Blackstone, which is a private equity group, um, they are a major contributor to uh, Donald Trump and in kind. Donald Trump has been granting them so many infrastructure contracts out in Saudi Arabia and the Middle East. But who else does Blackstone largely bankroll? And it's Joseph Crowley, my opponent, my Democratic opponent at that. And so I think we need to elevate the standards at which the Democratic Party should be held. And we need to have a point where we need to say we need to be the people's party. No exceptions. Yes. Oh. I can only agree. You're absolutely right. Thank you, Alexandria. Thank you. Wonderful, wonderful. I have a question for you, Alexandria. Uh, how, do you, how are you guys worried in New York about any rigging this time around? Are you doing anything to prepare for that? Yeah, we. Um, I actually received this question quite a few times because under the Obama administration, right before Obama left, um, left office, and this is not even a Trump investigation. Again, this is an Obama era investigation. Right. Um, the Justice Department opened an investigation in the New York Board of Elections for purging for voter purging um, in the 2016 primaries. We had a hundred over a hundred thousand people in Brooklyn alone. Forget about the whole state. In Brooklyn alone, a hundred thousand voters were purged from the rolls without any. Uh, with their registrations were entirely purged without any explanation. Wow. And um, and this lawsuit is ongoing. There has yet to be to be any real responsibility held on this case. Um, and so we are monitoring the situation extremely closely. We're doing our best by also registering. We are actively registering and re-registering people um, before October 13th. I cannot state that enough. Anybody who's watching, who knows anyone in New York, who has friends or family or your mother's second cousin in New York, let them know that uh, that they need to switch or reaffirm their party registration by October 13th. New York has this deadline set a year before the, pr before the primary for a reason. It's called voter suppression. And it doesn't just exist in Alabama. It doesn't just ex exist in Georgia. It exists right here in our backyard in New York. And if you want to know why New York doesn't have single payer health care, even though the state assembly has, has passed it for the last two, three, four years, it's because of institutions like this and practices like this. And so we are actively organizing and educating our community and our district um, to bring them into the Democratic Party and so that they get resent that paperwork and so once they file an affidavit ba ballot should they be purged there is an absolute rock solid case for that person's vote to be counted that's awesome that's awesome and that's that's what we didn't do last time we weren't aware of the rules we weren't aware of of what we needed to do to have command of the rules this time around we're, we're ready it sounds like you guys know it's like we you know you're not going to pull any fast ones on us Right. Yeah, and they try really hard. You know, if you actually go to the New York Board of Elections website and try to pull up these deadlines, they don't even tell you straightforward. They'll tell they'll make you do this crazy calculus. So if you try to find out the date on the Board of Elections website, they'll tell you the deadline is 27 days before the general election, before the primary of your choosing. They won't update it by year. They won't say the deadline is October 13th. They'll you know, say A equals B minus D plus E is your voter deadline. And this is all done very intentionally. Um, and we need to call it out. We need to make noise about it. We need to educate our family and our friends and our neighbors about it because it's only going to be a surge of progressives that are active in the Democratic Party that are going to force it to change. Right. 
and we know how to make that change. We know that we have to take those roles in the smaller portions of government, the people that actually make those rules, right, mm -hmm. make those changes. And, and you guys are on it. You guys are ready to, to make that happen. That's really exciting. We're, uh, uh, I just want to stop for a minute. Marcus, uh, I, we've got a great conversation in chat. Have you, uh, Dennis, you've been looking at it. Anybody got any questions from chat that they want to ask Alexandria here? Dennis is... Dennis I'm, ran away. Okay, sorry. so never mind. <laughs> Dennis <laughs> ran away for a moment. Uh, I, I didn't follow the chat because I have all hands uh, full to do here right now. No, no. Guys, 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 we don't okay, have any questions. We don't right. have any questions. They're talking about how bad as Alexandria is. Uh, <laughs> I want to, Thanks, yeah. guys. I appreciate it. <laughs> all right. Well, I want to see a donation or two for Alexandria when we run to this music spot. All right. Uh, we're looking at the sun right here, guys. This is the sun in process of being eclipsed by the moon. That's our shot from Ashley Terry in the Live You solo. I want to thank him for that. Uh, Marcus, we've got, it's about time to hit these songs. Uh, so we got, give me two minutes. Alexander, do you want to, you want to give any last words uh, as people tell them where to go to donate? Yes, please uh, at Ocasio2018.com slash donate. That's O-C-A-S-I-O 2018 dot com slash donate we are challenging the second most powerful democrat second only to nancy pelosi in the united states congress he takes money from luxury real estate developers wall street private equity um and more and we cannot allow this kind of corporate representation to be in control of the democratic party we need people that are advocating for everyday working americans so please support our campaign ocasio2018.com thank you everyone so much and i'm so excited to eclipse the establishment awesome thank you thank alexandria you. thank you so thank much thank you for coming yes bye, -bye. bye alex thank you so bye -bye. much and we're going Thank out with you. Alex's Choice. What was that song, Marcus? We have The Doors Moonlight Drive, correct? Yes, exactly. And a good pick. All right. <laughs> Great pick. <laughs> Here we go, everybody. Let's watch the eclipse. We'll be back with a couple more songs, and then I'll tell you how this is going to play out, uh, starting with the 10.05 block. Stay with us. Eclipse Establishment.